Hello, welcome back to Blow Harvest Vintage Toys. Yes, it's me for a change. Um, I just wanted to have a little chat today. Not really a chat, no, because you can't to talk to me. But leave in the comments below what you feel about um, the channel at the moment. I've just hit 900 and hopefully within the next month I should be getting a 1,000. So that means monetization and adverts, unfortunately. Uh, but I just wanted to know what you felt about the channel. Um, I know there's the shorts going on. Um, and I've, I've known about that for about a year. I keep up to date. I listen to all the podcasts about YouTube. Uh, I, I keep on top of the situation. I listen to all the news. I, I really, really love listening to the podcast. It gives you gives you ideas basically, and I'm always up for that. I'm always up for learning. Whatever I do, I, I always read up on it, listen to podcasts. Um, but the Star Wars collecting, I always I always love to read all the books, and listen to all the podcasts. Um, and the other channels, of course. But I don't feel that shorts is good for this channel. Uh. Not that I'm saying shorts are bad. Maybe I'd like to do a few, but I don't want to do them on this channel. I want I'm I'm not going to do another channel. I don't. I, I've got enough for one. Um, I put my gaming streaming over onto Twitch. Um, basically because I want to keep it separate from the what this channel is because this channel is a vintage toy channel. It's not a gaming channel, and it's same with the shorts really. Um, I feel that well, I've got the short side for getting you uh, subscribers and views and things like that. I just don't feel it's right for this channel. I mean, like, let me know how you feel about that. If you feel that there could be a, a playlist for shorts. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have got ideas for doing shorts. Um, I've got I've got some really good ideas. I'd probably do pretty well actually, which I might I might try out. Let me know, please let me know. Um, but I feel that <sighs> that's another thing. I've been doing a lot of reviews lately, and I've not been doing the videos that I used to do. And I feel I don't know if I'm getting a bit lazy with it. To be honest with you, I just sometimes I just feel like I mean I'm putting videos out almost every day. Um, I don't think it's burnout. I don't think I'm getting burnt out, really. It's just I feel like I get, need to get back to the videos that I used to do about toy histories and um, just basically how to the How to Collect series that I did uh, from the archives, things like that. I want to get back to doing that. I'm going to carry on the reviews. I've got so much, so many things to review that people sent me. Uh, the little reviews from the the uh, Starfighters and things like that, I really enjoyed. I think they are a part of the channel. Um, again, let me know if there's anything that you feel that I should be reviewing. Um, so that's basically what I'm here to talk about today. Uh, there are other things I want to talk. I want to big up talking about uh, videos that I want to be doing. There's a channel. That you need to be watching. If you like my content or what I, what I did, the the more of the um, history and why things happen. And if you've got any, if you've got any questions about collecting or Star Wars toys, let me know. If there's anything you really need to know, I'll do a video about it. That's simply is. There's so many videos I've done in the past that I've come from questions from the viewers. I love doing that. I love doing that. Some of the stuff, I mean, I'm learning myself. Like I say, I'm still, I'm always learning. I love, I love to learn. I love to read about everything in this hobby. But the channel that I want to talk about is uh, Spectre Creative. Now, um, the guy is absolutely fantastic. Uh, he's an ex-Mattel employee. Play, he worked for Jack Specific, but he's a big Star Wars collector as well. And he only he went to Jack Specific to do Star Wars because they did the the big Star Wars figures. 
and um, every time there's something come up, I mean, it's, it might it might even be on something that I'm not really that interested in, but he's always got a good point of view, and if you put a comment up, he'll always and he'll always. Um, reply to it. I mean, there was something last week about uh, I forgot what was it on now. About um, oh, it was about the um, the Power of the Force Two line. He was talking about the Power of the Force Two line, and it was all about the vehicles. And I mentioned that he was talking about the molds. Uh, I mentioned that the molds came from Palatoy. Kind of threw out the molds because he said something about um, it's it's funny how they how they had the molds. Ten years later, or something like that, and I, I said, I put in the comment that there were Palatoy molds. Palatoy had kept, kept the molds and had given them back to Kenner Hasbro back then, and um, used the Palatoy molds for the uh, retooling of the Millennium Falcon and the X-wing. So he he sent me a message. Well, he put a comment. I says, "Thanks. I'll 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 use that next time, and I'll and I'll." Uh, Put your name up there. I thought oh, that's brilliant. You know what I mean? I mean that's something I'd do, obviously. And we don't know everything about everything in collecting. Obviously, this this far more brainier, should I say, people than me are people much more non knowledgeable in the Star Wars collecting than I am. But I just want to do. I just want to do this channel. And learn myself. There's a lot of things I don't know. A lot of things I don't know. It's like card backs. Um, there are certain people that know card backs just like that. Well, that's a that's a 32 b or whatever. But that's something I really need to get to to know better. And with uh, Gianni and Greg's Red Five book that's coming out, I will pour through that cover to cover. Because they will be doing all the different card backs. And I'll learn a lot from that. Um, I have all the books about card backs and things like that. But it's just, it's just not... The information's not all there. And there's just so much information that's, that keeps coming out. That's updating all the time. And the um, good thing about Red 5 book is... The cards that haven't been found... Or are not known are actually going to be there and you're going to get little stickers for when that card back is found to put in that book so you can keep it up to date yourself which I'm really looking forward to that book and uh, please visit their website to, uh, to order one of those as well I think they're still available but that's it, just, uh, um, just a little update on the channel, really. Um, if you know anybody that loves collecting our Star Wars or vintage toys, things like that, please let them know about the channel. Let's get to a 1,000. Get that monetization. Get the community tab. That is what the thing I want, thing I want is the community tab so we can build this community up. Because we talk to people on the Polar Boys and they're not on Twitter. We are, we normally have to get people onto Twitter because that's where our community is on Twitter. But if we've got it there on YouTube, everybody can go there. We'll still have one on the, on Twitter as well, but if we've got one on YouTube, I think that'll be better. Again, let me know what you think about that. And yeah, we'll uh, move forward. And let me know about the... It's really worrying me about my videos I'm getting views I'm getting views more on um, the hauls which I'm, I've am i been getting a lot of the past month my birthday hauls have lasted a month and I've, I've still got one that's waiting in the post office for me um, I could go on a little rant there about the, the post office because I, I went today to post something from the auction things from the auction I went to pick up this parcel and they shut at 10 and not 12. 10 o'clock in the morning. And they're not open tomorrow. And then Thursday it's 10 o'clock again. So this birthday package, I'm not going to get till Thursday now. So anyway, that's a mini rant. So yeah, 
the views that I get mostly. I don't get a lot of views on the on the reviews. I do, I do, but more on the um, opening the boxes, hauls, things like that. And I know I I haven't done a rant in a while. I could do a rant because rants really do really well. I mean, the only the only um, review that I've done that really blew up was the Luke, the Luke Endor one, and that was just after. It was a couple of days after um, the finale of Mandalorian. So, yeah, but my blowing up is probably minuscule to other, other YouTubers. But I'm growing. I'm getting there. And I don't want to be massive. I honestly don't. Once I get to a 1,000, I'd be happy. I'd be happy at a 1,000. Really would. It's just, it's been a goal for two years and next month is the second anniversary of being on YouTube. And um, it, it, take, it takes two years to get that 1,000 usually. This pandemic has changed things. Um, people are getting quicker. I mean, if, if it weren't for this, I wouldn't have the 1,000 probably because of the Pala Boys are doing the live streams of meeting everybody has been fantastic and uh, long may it continue and moving forward after when things get back to normal and it looks like it could do I think by the end of this year I don't want to uh, tempt fate but I think by the end of this year that everything will be back to normal we'll be going to be able to we'll be able to meet up we'll be able to go to comic cons and maybe not comic cons this year uh, I think like Echo Live I'd like to to go to probably and then Maybe moving forward in the next couple of years, Comic Cons, and we want to we want to start this Kickstarter for uh, me and Tez going on the toy road trip. So um, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Um, what we want to do is we want to go around all the toy shops in the country, all the vintage toy shops, all the antique places, things like that. But we want to visit all the YouTubers as well. Maybe you could put us up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, just pop in for a coffee and have a chat. And just, yeah, it would be fantastic. I would love that. I love that. So, yeah. Um, we need to do that. Really do. So, Tez, get you off your ass. I know you do. You, you work hard, mate. I know. Um, but we need, to, we need to be pulling his finger out. And maybe give it another month or so. And then start this Kickstarter. And um, get the money and the funding to do this. I think it'll be epic. I think it would. We want to stay in the south and go right up to Scotland. Everywhere in between. Um, and I'm so excited to doing that, actually. It'd be nice to go out and actually go in toy shops again. We've spent so much, I think, though. I think the budget is going to be sky high just because of the stuff we're going to buy. Um, if, if, if anybody knows about, of any vintage toy shops, obviously Joe's, there's some in Blackpool. Um, I want to go to Brooks Collectibles before they shut down. The museum of Brooks Collectibles in Blackpool is shutting down, unfortunately, and we want to keep it going. So, Mark, we need to keep you going, mate. Um, so we need to visit there too. And then we'll go all over the country. All over the country. So we need to know every single. So we don't want to, we don't want to film it all and then somebody say, oh, he didn't come visit me. Well, let me know now so we can plan it. So logistics are going to be a nightmare. And we can't just wing it. We could, but it could be funnier if we did wing it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks everybody. I love, I love you all. Got nine hundred subscribers. Can't believe it. It's just <sighs> blows me away. And this, the amount of things that people send me, and it's just, it's just been a special, special year. As and it has been a year nearly, very close to a year now. A couple of weeks away from starting, sat here. In this chair, with my computer there, 
starting the live stream, starting, it was the valuation live stream at the beginning. I was doing, I wanted people, I wanted to value people's toys and give people advice and things like that. But it's, it's morphed into the Pala Boys. Uh, three, I had like three or four viewers for the first week or so. And now we're getting 80, 90 viewers in uh, watching us every week. And now we're four times a week. I think that's, I think the Pala Boys itself is still going strong. And, but the After Dark is um, still growing because we need to get the American audience with the After Dark. It's still, I could do with it being a bit later, I know, but that's um, for the UK guys, really. I don't mind, I stay up all night, mate, mostly. I can't sleep sometimes. <laughs> but there, there you go. Um, I am going for an operation very soon, so I might be out of action for a bit. But hopefully, touch wood. It's um, the operation will go fine, and I should be only out of action for a couple of days. If it's if it falls on a Pala Boys day, that will still go ahead, and I will just produce it from behind the scenes. Because um, I won't be able to talk for a for a couple of days. So I need to do. I need to build up some some of, uh, library of videos before that. Um, I always do anyway. If you go to my, if you want to go to my Patreon, I usually have a stack of videos on there. I haven't at the moment because, as I say, I've just been, I've been worried about the the operation, things like that. I've just not felt it at the moment, even though the content's still been coming. I've just not not felt it. If you know what I mean, I've, uh, I need to kick up the ass to um, start doing things again, and uh, like I say. I need to do the videos, the history of videos, and uh, how to collect videos. So if anybody's got any any questions, burning questions, for me to do videos on, I would love that. I'd love it. I've got things here to to review, and review videos are very easy. Just It's just me opening a box and looking at a toy, basically. And me saying how, what I feel about it. And that's I just upload it onto the onto the Mac, and then upload it onto YouTube. Edit well, I edit it down obviously, because um, I don't have to do that much editing because I just bang most of it on it. Sometimes I just waffle on like I am now, and I might edit this down because I bloody do waffle on. Once I get started, um, that's why I like doing the live streams because I like to waffle on about toys. Spectre Creative, please look at their channel if you like my stuff. Let me know about shorts. I always listen to my viewers and what they want because I'm creating things that you want. I like to create things that I like, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to go into a tile line that I don't like because the review is going to be... Well, don't like that. So please uh, check out my Patreon, like I said. Get the videos there first, and then they go onto YouTube. If you can wait, it doesn't matter. It costs you a little bit, uh, a pound a month. But uh, obviously, when um, when we get a 1,000, we'll get monetized. or will get the community tab. I will um, probably do a membership I, th I don't know about that I've not really decided because I've got my Patreon and I, if I've got Patreon and membership you don't want to be paying both so I don't know what to do like, again let me know what you think about that if you'd rather have a mem be a member of the channel or because um, that, that would help with the with the, um, the chat on the Pally Boys that would so maybe that's what we'll do. Move everybody from Patreon onto membership. I I might keep them both. It depends what people want, isn't it? It's, um, but that's what I mean. That's why I'm asking. I need to know what people want. And I'll do it. Because I'm here for you. I'm here to entertain you. Uh, so, there you go. 
I don't know why I did that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, please um, like this video. I never, I, I, re I very rarely ask people to like it, but I want to get more likes, more shares, more subscribers. Let's get to this thousand. Let's do it all together as a community. So thank you for watching. And may the toys be with you.